Hey baritones and euphoniums. In today's video, we're gonna work out on warm up sheet number four. So grab your baritone and let's get started. This first exercise is our E flat major scale in whole notes. I'll have my metronome set at 70 beats per minute, but I wanna point out the last three notes before we play. The third note from the end is C, first valve, D, second, or open, no valves, that's the second to last measure. And then the last note, E flat, is our first valve again. So first, nothing, first for those last three notes. E flat major, one, two, ready, and. Uh. Make sure you keep those corners nice and firm as you play those high pitches. Number two is lip slurs, eighth note style. One and two, ready and go. <laughs> Number three is more lip slurs, and this is an extended lip slur. It goes one pitch higher in the series, so make sure you have enough air to go through those two measures. Stay relaxed and let the air do the work. One, two, number three, go. <laughs> Exercise number four is articulations. Follow these articulations closely because each measure of quarter notes should sound different. Measure one's quarter notes are plain, regular quarter notes. Measure three is short, staccato quarter notes. Measure five is emphasized, accented quarter notes. And measure seven is smooth, legato, tenuto quarter notes. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, go. I have a little sticky valve right here and I'm working, trying to work through the video with it. Number five is the chromatic scale. Try to do each measure in one breath. You may need to look up some of the fingerings to these notes if you've forgotten their fingerings. So you can do that in a scale book or in a lesson book. If you remember, they're in the beginning or the end of the book. So if you need a fingering, check out a lesson book and jot it into your scale. Here we go. And one, two, ready, go. <laughs> All right, 
we made it, sticky valve and all. So I hope this has been helpful to you, and I hope now you'll jump into a lesson book or into one of your scale books and really continue to grow on your instrument. Until I see you next time, keep practicing.